In this video, we are going to look at how to scan a stockpile for 3D volumetric calculation. In front of me is an FJD Trion LiDAR scanner. You can have this scanner in three configurations. You can have it as it looks right now in front of me. We can integrate it with a camera, which allows you to do point cloud colorization. We can also put this on a backpack and also put it with a GNSS receiver. This allows us to do RTK registration on the point cloud. For this scan, we're going to use the FJD scanner as it is. To start the scan, I have set up my scanner. I've attached my two batteries and also attached the cable from the logger to the scanner. Once the scanner is on, you will be able to see the scanner's Wi-Fi network. Once this is visible, connect to the Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi of the scanner is this one that has FJS1 at the beginning. Select the Wi-Fi and then key in the password. The password is FJDTrionS1, all small letters. Select connect. Once it's connected, go to your browser. When you go to your browser, input the IP address of the scanner. The IP address of the scanner is 10.42.0.1. We are now connected to the scanner. Select the middle icon to create a project for your scan. Key in your project's name. Then select OK. This will start the initialization process. To see that the scanner has initialized properly, look on the LED light on the scanner. This will flash red and green while the initialization process is taking place. When the initialization process is complete, this will just flash green. From the LED indication, the initialization process is now complete. I can now pick up my scanner and start with my scanning of the stockpile. So what I'm going to do now is scan the stockpile. I will scan the bottom of the stockpile and also the top and then close off where I've started off. The scanner has a range of 120 meters, so I'll be able to scan the stockpile even from a bit of a distance. Okay, we've also placed some ground control points. This will allow us to do a coordinate transformation on the point cloud after the scan is complete. Let's now proceed with the scan. So we have now done the scan with the scanner as it is. We will now do this with the RTK integration. So we have set up our scanner with the RTK module. We usually use the RTK module if we have to scan large areas. This is because it's a SLAM scanner. This means that simultaneous localization and mapping. And over a long distance, this can introduce some drift. So RTK help minimize this drift. So let us proceed with scanning our stockpile with the RTK integration connected. We have now completed the scan with the RTK antenna integration with the scanner. We will now save our data and compare it with the first scan. <laughs> 